What's going on, wrestling fans? Once again, it is your host, Arachnid Soul, coming to you today with a list of wrestlers re-signed to TNA Wrestling, and actually a couple of these are new signings. Let's run through the list. First of all, the 6'8", 350-plus pound weapon of mass destruction, the Monster Abyss, a man who was there from night one when they kick things off on that Wednesday night pay-per-view, has resigned. The next guy I see bright things for in the future. He's the most recent gut check winner. He's out of the UK, Mandrews, or Mark Andrews, depending on how you want to call it. Already one of the best shooting star presses I've ever seen. This kid is electric. He's got charisma. He's got that it factor that just makes you want to cheer for him. I can't wait to see what this kid's going to do in the X Division. So glad that he finally got signed to a major company. When you talk about the greatest wrestlers in the world currently and the greatest wrestlers in the history of the sport, you've got to mention this man. You've got to mention Kurt Angle. We know what Kurt Angle's done in other organizations. Kurt Angle, one of the most decorated professional wrestlers in history, one of the most decorated amateur wrestlers in history. To have this guy on the roster for this long, a TNA Hall of Famer has really brought a lot of attention to the product, and he delivers. And in my opinion, he's delivered more in TNA than he did where he worked before TNA. So really excited to see Kurt Angle re-sign. Hopefully he's got another five years, even though, I don't know, maybe he's only got another two in him. We'll see. EC3, Ethan Carter III, the elitism, the snobbiness, being a one percenter. They used to chant, you can't wrestle, but now I notice only half of them chant, you can't wrestle. The other half chant, yes, he can. The breakout star, in my opinion, in TNA Wrestling, hell, in all the professional wrestling in 2014, I can't wait to see what EC3 does in 2015 and afterwards. This guy's got future world heavyweight champion written all over him. And when we talk about world heavyweight champions of the future, let's talk about a world heavyweight champion of the past. Let's talk about Showtime Eric Young. In my opinion, one of the breakout stars that TNA has built from the ground up, a TNA original. So glad to see him resigning, despite the fact that he's got about 17 other TV shows. He pops up in all sorts of places, but he has decided to keep his home in TNA. I'm excited that Eric Young has resigned. We talked about Kurt Angle earlier on. I told you that, in my opinion, he's one of the best professional wrestlers in the world. Let's talk about another one of the best pro wrestlers in the world, arguably the best female pro wrestler on the planet, Gail Kim. That consistent wrestler you can put in the ring with anyone, she never has a bad match. She never half-asses it out there in the squared circle or the hexagon. Very instrumental was Gail Kim in launching the original TNA Knockouts division and bringing that belt into TNA. And when I say I believe she's number one, hell, I watch Joshi, I watch Shimmer, Shine, I watch Lucha Libre, Triple A, I watch a lot of female wrestling. To have Gail Kim re-sign is amazing. And we're going to talk about amazing a little bit later on with one of the other signings. Gail Kim has re-signed. She bleeds TNA, and I could not be more excited. Next, we move on to a guy that I've criticized in years past. I haven't been the biggest fan of his, but I've really seen since he's cleaned himself up, especially now that he's working a little bit more with his brother Matt, Jeff Hardy is reborn. Jeff Hardy is resurrected, as his old theme song said. Jeff Hardy has re-signed with TNA, and as we all know, Jeff Hardy has options. Jeff Hardy jumped ship. Jeff Hardy was not fired from the last company. He decided to leave and come to TNA, and he is re and re and re-signed with TNA. It fits for him. Jesse Goddard has also re-signed a contract to TNA, and I'm going to be real honest with you. Being a guy who's watched every single season of Big Brother, and I watched the British version and the Australian version, I've seen 20 seasons of Big Brother. I was a big fan of Jesse, and even when he was in the Big Brother house years ago, he kept talking about how he was going to be a pro wrestler. I didn't believe he would make it, but I saw him bust his ass and come up through the ranks of Ohio Valley Wrestling. 
I saw him get drafted into TNA, and I have to tell you, he's much more impressive than I thought he would be. Is there room for improvement? Absolutely. Anywhere else on any other roster, I feel like he would be a bigger name, a bigger star. He'd be looked at as having more talent, but because he's in TNA, because he's in arguably the best professional wrestling roster in the world, probably no doubt in the United States at least, he's probably one of the least talented guys on the TNA roster, but he's only getting better and he's teamed up with Robbie E. It's a good pairing. So anyway, Jesse Goddard has re-signed. He's got an amazing physique. Let's see if the skill gets a little bit better. Let's see if he can parlay that into a very successful career in TNA wrestling. There would be no arachnid soul if I had not grown up watching my favorite sports broadcaster of all time, my favorite commentator for any sport of all time, the Professor Mike Today. Now, Mike Today has been promoted to his own TV show on Saturday mornings, and that leaves an opening on Impact Wrestling. That leaves an opening Friday nights on Destination America. Insert Josh Matthews. Josh Matthews is one of the best play-by-play -play men in professional wrestling. I've said that now for almost a decade. I'm happy to finally see him get the respect due. And I can tell you right now, this guy has slid in without a hitch. Him and Taz work really well together. I'm happy for him, and I'm glad TNA has signed this incredible play-by-play -play talent. The pretty boy Pitbull, Kenny King. We all know from watching him in Ring of Honor that this cat can go all night long. Damn, this guy is talented. I've been watching this guy's entire career. I remember when he was originally in TNA, and he didn't get signed. Then he went to Ring of Honor, made a name for himself. We won't talk about how he finished up there. That wasn't the best thing. But he's back in TNA now. Every time he's on camera, he's making me laugh. He's running his mouth constantly. He's that guy that you hang out with who says something to a group of other guys and gets you all into a fight you didn't want to be in. But at the same time, when it's go time, when the bell rings, he can go from bell to bell with the best of them. I'm so excited that TNA has re-signed your boy, Kenny King. One of the biggest shockers in professional wrestling over the past couple of years, hell, I'm going to say it, it was when the lights went down and they came back up on the premiere of Impact Wrestling on Destination America. In the ring stood amazing, awesome Kong. Kong has returned to TNA. If you have not seen what Kong and Gail Kim did to launch the early TNA knockout division, you are not a professional wrestling fan. Go watch that. Kong versus Havoc. Kong versus Kim. I cannot wait to see these matches. Awesome Kong has resigned, and that one word, awesome. TJ Perkins, the man under the mask, the former suicide, now manic of the revolution, an amazing X Division wrestler. I mean, how New Japan Pro Wrestling, Ring of Honor. I've watched him in Southern California. I've watched this kid all over the place Mexico, California, TNA. The kid can go pure X Division. Glad he's been resigned. TNA has also re-signed Mr. Anderson. Anderson. Here's a guy who a lot of wrestling fans, a lot of wrestling purists thought would be a world champion in other organizations. That did not come to fruition. He jumped ship. He came to TNA. He's a multiple-time world champion. And if you thought his wrestling wasn't great at the other organization, he's a little bit better now. He's had some really amazing matches. He's great on the mic. TNA has re-signed him. Mr. Anderson, staying with TNA Wrestling. If you watch certain wrestling organizations, you might be of the opinion that tag team wrestling is dead and buried. However, if you're like me and you watch Ring of Honor, you watch TNA, you watch Pro Wrestling Noah, you watch New Japan Pro Wrestling, you watch Chikara, you watch Pro Wrestling Gorilla, you watch all these other organizations, you realize there's some really great tag teams out there. Some of the best tag teams in the history of the sport. One of those tag teams, some call them the American Wolves, some call them the Wolves. Eddie Edwards, who you see on the left, Davey Richards, who you see on the right, have re-signed. They had that amazing triple threat tag team series last year. It was the Wolves versus the Hardys versus Team 3D. 
these guys, I'm telling you, can go. Not many guys have been Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. Both of these guys have. This is one of the premier tag teams in professional wrestling. They have re-signed. We can also talk about another knockout that has re-signed to TNA. Another one of my favorite female wrestlers in the world, Madison Rain. Madison Rain, the consummate professional. Madison Rain, a woman who can go out there much like Gail Kim and get the ring with some knockouts. Some women who might not be up to her level, but she elevates them. She always rises to the occasion. She's very technically sound. I think she's very underrated, and I'm glad to see her remain on the TNA roster. And I talked about this at length in another video, and if you want to see that video, click the link in the description below. It's the video where I talked about TNA going over to Destination America and what it meant for the league, and I'm going to go over it a little bit right here because it's not talked about enough. TNA, when they were on Spike TV, they were not collecting ad revenue. They were not collecting money from the commercials that aired during TNA Impact Wrestling. Now that they are at Destination America, they are collecting that money as well as launching a number of other broadcasts, a number of other TV shows. So that's where this new revenue is coming from. So expect to see 2015 being the year that TNA makes more money, in my opinion, than they have at any other point in their history. And that's why they can re-sign these wrestlers. As always, it has been your host, Arachnid Soul, intellectual, voracious, and passionate about professional wrestling. As always, hit the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I will catch you guys and girls. I will catch you wrestling fans later.